So Glenn Beck mentioned Justice Democrats on his radio show. This is great for so many reasons. Take a look. Well, you have Justice Democrats. Did you see who mm-hmm. Justice Democrats just got elected in New York? It was uh, uh, oh, Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. Yeah, not she's that from long ago. Brooklyn, right? Uh, Wrong. Queens. 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 That's yeah. right. Queens. Mm-hmm. So they just got another person elected in Queens. Mm. Uh, and this one's great. Now, Justice Democrats are the ones who got Ocasio Cortez uh, elected. Mm-hmm. They put out. This is all verified. Um, they put out a basically a casting call looking for somebody that could run for Congress. Ocasio Cortez. This is all in her documentary. Mm-hmm. Ocasio Cortez's brother says, oh, my sister would be great. So she convinced her to go to talk to Justice Democrats. They look at all these people, interview all these people, and they pick Casio cortez and then they run her campaign. And they are the ones that were behind it. Okay, She's a, she's a shill. It didn't start with her. It started with Justice Democrats, and they went for a casting goal. Well, I've done another one, this time for the uh, district attorney's office. Look at the framing on that. Look at the framing. He called it a casting call, and he said she's a shill. Okay, Glenn, sit down. Listen up, fella, because I'm a co-founder of Justice Democrats. Let me explain something to you. What we did is how politics should function in this country. We didn't do a casting call. We didn't call it a casting call. You know what we did? We came, I came out here, and Jenk from the Young Turks went on his show, and we said very simply, hey, we want regular people to run for Congress because we want regular people to represent us in Congress. Here's what we stand for, and we gave the list. It was getting money out of politics. It was um, Medicare for all, free college, a living wage, ending the wars. Um, an infrastructure deal, legalizing marijuana, freeing nonviolent drug offenders. We gave a list of things that represent a left-wing philosophy, a social democratic philosophy. This is what we wanted to create. We wanted to make it so that the Bernie Sanders wing of the Democratic Party overtook the Democratic Party, kicked out the centrist and the neoliberals, and we had a party that actually represented the people. Now, you don't have to agree with our ideology, and obviously you don't. But what we were doing was getting regular people to run for office. It wasn't a casting call. She wasn't a shill. No, we said, hey, we think regular people should run the country, and here's what we believe in. If you also believe in these things, sign up, reach out to us. And then there was a process by which um, Justice Democrats determined who the best candidates would be. Now, I was not hands-on in that process. Uh, you know, process, because I was a co-founder of Justice Democrats, and outside of being a co-founder, I wrote the platform, and then also, you know, basically, Jenk and I are the marketing arm of Justice Democrats. We're, we have large audiences, and we tell everybody, hey, this is what we're about, this is what we're fighting for, you should get involved. So, But his framing on it, notice how they try to make it seem so much more nefarious than it. It's a casting call. They want you to think like there's these, like, George Soros puppet master behind the scenes, like, Mohaha, I will get people to do my bidding. Where's my casting call? Yes, where are my shields? Yes. (laughs) But no, it's not like that. I'm a regular dude with a YouTube channel. <laughs> That's all it is, dog. I'm a regular dude with a YouTube channel who likes social democracy and likes Bernie Sanders' campaign. And so we started something. It's like they try to portray it as this super nefarious, corrupt thing, when in reality, it's the exact opposite. There's not a hint of corruption. Our candidates... Make a point, you can only be a Justice Democrat if you take no corporate PAC money. (laughs) So the whole point is the opposite of what he makes it out to be. The whole point was, let's get regular people to run and actually fight for the people. And he spins it as, it was a casting call, and there are like these puppet masters who are finding shills for their nefarious agenda. That right there sums up right-wing media. The way they spin things, the way they tarnish things, the way they try to portray it is the exact opposite of the reality of the situation. 
And you all know because you all were along for the ride. So keep that in mind when determining who's telling you the truth and who's not.